Hi, I'm Michael with Houston Grass, and most of our videos are either done in my office sitting at my desk or, or out in the field, and today we're going to go out in the field and, and look at several of the issues that plague St. Augustine, especially in the hot, hot summer months, is July and August months, and uh, I wanted to, this, in the last year, we've started carrying several products that uh, can treat some of these issues, and uh, that they, they do come around every year, and uh, we we would like to be a part of the a part of the solution. Uh, there, there are several different things that uh, Nitrofos carries. Uh, that, that they carry. They're, they're known for their fertilizers, but they carry several other chemicals and whatnot that do really well on things like brown patch and some of the different uh, bugs, sod webworms, and whatnot. So. Uh, Nitrofoss is who supplies us with, with most of our stuff. And uh, the first thing I would like to go over with you is uh, we, we've, we've, got a, we've got a display of, of kind of everything here on our wall. Uh, we, the thing we sell most is probably the, and the, the, the product that Nitrofoss is probably known best for is, is their Imperial Lawn Fertilizer. Uh, it's just a good balanced fertilizer to put out most of the times of year. Uh, we also carry their Super Turf, which is uh, the only difference is it's it's got a little more nitrogen, but it's slow release nitrogen, and uh, so it lasts a little bit longer. You don't get that big burst of green, uh, but but it, it lasts about three months. So uh, that that's one good thing. Uh, we also have over here. Uh, we don't have it up because it's not springtime, and the only time that you would put out something like this. This is the everybody talks about the weed and feeds, and this is a this is a good one. It's got the uh, uh, the active ingredient is atrazine in it, and it's a, a really good one for St. August lawns and so we will we'll have that in the spring times but you don't you don't use this any time other than spring so we don't keep it displayed uh, some of the good chemicals that uh, that, that we carry uh, I, I guess I would talk about brown patch first uh, the, the most effective thing that homeowners seem to be able to get their hands on chemical wise to treat brown patch at least uh, preventatively especially uh, is this Nitrofoss PCNB 10G brown patch control uh, the PCNB is the active ingredient in it uh, it's actually what they use at our farm as well it, it's really good stuff like I said especially if you start putting it out uh, earlier uh, you know brown patch comes around in the uh, spring transition time and it also comes back around in the fall uh, here uh, in on the Gulf Coast I find that fall is usually the uh, the worst one of those so uh, if you can start putting it out in late August early September or the, the rule of thumb for brown patch is actually uh, w when you got nights in the 60s and days in the 80s uh, that's when brown patches uh, that that really show, rears its head then so uh, that's a good one for brown patch uh, it's, it's probably the best for brown patch. Uh, another one that we have over here is called the uh, Eagle Eagle Turf is what this one is called. Uh, this one is actually for gray leaf spot. Uh, and that's a problem that we uh, see usually it starts rearing its head mo most of summer, June, July, August, but really uh, the July, August when it gets really hot and really still and really humid, and especially if we get some rains uh, and in shadier areas especially. Uh, we actually recommend when people plant St. Augustine in the summertime that they put out uh, put out the eagle turf uh, right after they plant the new grass because the farm will put down uh, a fungicide but usually fun most fungicides they may only last two or three weeks or so so uh, you've got to we recommend when people put down new grass that you first uh, think about the sod webworms have been an issue and we'll talk about those in a minute uh, but the Eagle turf as well sometime in the first week and I think that it you can read the label but for gray leaf spot I think it says about every uh, two to three weeks you do uh, actually I think it's 14 days that you uh, reapply and we recommend since you're dumping so much water on this new grass that's uh, really got a lot of nitrogen in it because our farm takes really good care of our grass and it's uh, fertilized really well but that nitrogen also invites this brown uh, uh, gray leaf spot so we recommend treating every couple of weeks with the with the eagle turf on on new grass uh, 
And we've got some pictures displayed here uh, in our office that show the little, the way you know you have it is you see the yellow chlorotic looking grass, uh, that's how it kind of first starts, or you see the little, I call them brown freckles on an individual blade. Uh, some people say it looks kind of like a, a, a cigarette kind of burned a, uh, a, a, a little spot on a blade of grass, and that's, that's how it starts, and then it spreads that, uh, that chlorotic looking look. and. You, you can really get a good control on it with this with this eagle turf. Uh, another thing that we uh, carry, and because it's an issue, it's a big issue this time of year. Uh, every year they come around, but here in the last two years. Uh, the sod webworms have been worse than they've ever been in Houston uh, because we haven't had much of a winter to kill them off. They lay over, over th during the winter in the thatch layers of the grass and they, they, can, they can really cause uh, cause damage and they really show up July and August uh, they, they, they show up and they can be a real problem as well uh, so for those we recommend uh, we have a couple of different things this this bug out max is uh, it's got it basically the active ingredient in it is bifen and it's really good for a lot of things uh, including chinch bugs uh, they're there uh, that, that start rearing their head the, the hotter and drier it is in the summer if you've got some drought stress grass some chinch bugs can move in but the sod webworms this is a good product as well as this new one that we've got that attaches to the end of your hose which is called Sayonara it's kind of a funny name but <laughs> it's uh, it's a obviously because it's a liquid you put it on the end of your hose you open up this little valve here and 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 start putting it out and it's uh, it, it, it it's a contact killer so you don't I don't, I don't suspect that you get a whole lot of uh, it's not going to last for, for out there very long but uh, if you have active insects whether they be chinch bugs or sod webworms they uh, that would be one that would be real good at uh, at killing those so uh, anyways come come into our office if you've got these issues you can find nitrofoss at a lot of different a uh, lot of different places it's not uh, sold at Lowe's and Home Depot uh, but a lot of the ace hardwares and whatnot or if you're in the south part of Houston come see us we've got pictures showing you uh, show, showing you with the symptoms of each of some of the different things and uh, uh, Hillary and myself are both very knowledgeable of, and, can, and can, you bring us a picture or send us a picture and we can help you diagnose your issue and uh, hopefully get you on the road to recovery.